Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Tifosi Optics Rail Frameless Cycling Sunglasses. The new Tifosi Rail Sunglasses are the brand's first frameless cycling sunglasses. Utilizing an oversized shield design, the Tifosi has developed the rail to offer wide coverage and protection for road cycling or mountain biking. In terms of packaging, you can see very simple. You have a nice blue cardboard box with their branding right on there. All the specs for the specific model and the type on here, as well as some additional information on the other side. Go ahead, take it out of the box and go over the specs. As with a lot of Tifosi products, very affordable. It's only $79.95. These are frameless sunglasses, so you don't have an upper or lower frame. The lens itself is most of the structure. You have an oversized shield design for a lot of protection and coverage as well as interchangeable lens, which is really cool. So you can actually swap out the lens, even though it is frameless, you can pull the temples off and the nose piece and then swap them out. Tifosi also includes multiple lenses with this. So you get the clear one, as well as a all conditions red variation, which is pretty nice to, especially given the price point. This is a TR90 frame, so very durable and lightweight, fully adjustable nose piece, as well as the ear pieces. So you have a nice rubber on here and you can see highly flexible. In terms of what comes with this, you get quite a few things. Again, really surprising, especially at this price point. You get the sunglasses themselves. You get a little pouch that holds two different lenses. So you have that red version, this is all conditions, category two. You get a clear lens, which is great for nighttime riding. And it's a really nice pouch. So two little layers in here and a little Velcro piece that holds it in place. So you can see on the inside, the Velcro holds it nice and secure. You also have a fabric carrying case as well. So this is great if you're traveling and you don't want to carry the bulky uh, full zippered pouch. You have an instruction manual, which shows you how to remove the lenses and some safety information. Now let's take a look at the weight of the Tifosi Rail sunglasses. So with the Clarion blue lens, this comes out to 32 grams. And out of curiosity, just the lens itself, here's the all condition red. That is 16, so about half the weight of just the lens. The Tifosu Rail combines an oversized lens with a shield design and frameless construction. That means you get the best of both worlds. You get this wide lens with nice curvature that wraps around your face. And then no frame to block your vision. So you can see when you're wearing this, there's no frame on top or bottom. So you really have wide field of view. This is great for cycling specifically where you change your position a lot. You can go from arrow where you're tilted down and then more upright when you're sitting up in the saddle. Tifosa offers this in a variety of different lens options. We have the Clarion Blue here, so it's a mirrored finish, which looks really cool and blocks your eyes from other people seeing it, but you get great tinting. So it's category three lens, which is great for most conditions. They also have the photo tech lenses, which is a transition photochromic option that'll actually adjust to the environment. And it's the same price, so really good value and you get essentially multiple lens in one. They also include the all conditions red, which is a category two with 39% VLT. So you can see a nice red finish and this enhances the ground and different features on the road while not really having that much tinting so you can still see. So with category two, it's better for darker conditions in the full sun you want a category three or even higher if you're really somewhere very bright. So with this, you have everything really covered and you even get the clear lens, which is really cool. So this has no tinting at all, but it gives you protection from dirt and debris as you always want to have sunglasses on the bike just to prevent any damage from your eyes or dirt getting caught in your eye. With these, you can also swap out the lens. So a very cool feature. There's essentially a little tab here that holds the temple arm. So you need to push down. That'll release the tab and then slide out. So you can see a very simple design and that lets you really swap out lenses very quickly. To put it back on, you slide the lens back in to that little bottom groove. You wanna position that and then push down to lock it in place. So if we do that again on the other side, I'm pushing downward, which removes the tab and then pulling out. Put it back on slide it in and then pull up on the frame as you're pulling up on the temple arm. The nose pad can also be removed. So this one, you just want to gently rotate it 
And you can see it just has grooves that come out. Put it back on, you just slide it in, and then apply a little bit of pressure. So very simple and very small, so it's very low risk of breaking. You just really rotate it. You have an adjustable nose pad too, so it doesn't have any fixed positions. Instead, it's just this malleable rubber that can be really adjusted to whatever position you want. So very flexible. And same thing with the temple arm. So you can actually adjust it and rotate it. And at 32 grams, it is very lightweight. So easy to wear. And because it's frameless, you can see highly flexible with the polycarbonate frame that can handle falls, scratch resistant, and UV protection. Here you can see the Tofosu rail sunglasses paired with one of our Velocio kits. It's a pretty attractive pair of sunglasses with that frameless look and oversized design. Really pairs well with any cycling kit. And you can see the tall design works well with shallower helmet, so you still have a little gap between the top of the sunglasses and the helmet, but it is a very tall one. As far as the performance of the sunglasses, we're impressed. You have great clarity and optics, and there's no frame to block your vision on the top or bottom. There's also no distortion on them, despite being so large. There only is a slight variation with the color on the top to the bottom, but it's very subtle. And otherwise, we would have liked a little bit more ventilation as they can fog up on slow climbs. But otherwise, good looking pair of sunglasses, especially for cycling or sports. Now let's compare the Tifosu Rail and other sunglasses on the market. One comparison we have is the Magishine sunglasses. These are their first pair of sunglasses and their first apparel kit. And you can see very similar shield design. The Magishine is a little bit taller. They both have the same shield profile, so you have a cylindrical lens, so you can see when you look from top down, they're very curved. And that's really one downside of the rail. It's a little bit generic styling, so just like the Magic Shine, you really could put any brand on here, and it doesn't really scream a distinct brand. So a little bit more common, and you can see with the Magic Shine, it is cheaper, but you don't have interchangeable lens option, and the lens quality doesn't have quite as much contrast as Tifoso and other more established brands. You also have the Oakley Kato, which is just a really cool pair of sunglasses. So very stylized with this little beak on here and this roll top lip. It is frameless though. So you can see if you look from the inside, you don't have a lens on top bottom. You just have that rolled piece on top. So nice wide field of view. The Kato is almost $300, so very expensive. And you're definitely paying a premium for the Oakley brand name but it definitely does look cool. The Roca Matador is a pair of sunglasses we wear a lot lately. So this has a similar mirrored finish, same cylindrical shape, but with the Roca, they've actually had a little unique design feature with the temple arm. So instead of just having them come off the top, they actually sweep upwards. So a very unique look. Doesn't really affect the performance. It's just more of a style choice. And you have a top frame, which you can see at the edge of your vision. So. The frameless is really a nice feature for cycling, as you don't really see that, especially when you're in the aero position. We also have the Smith Mag here, so this is a pretty cool design from Smith. We have the clear lens on here, so that's why it's just transparent. But this actually features a unique lens swap option, so you can just pull down on the temple arms, and there's a little magnetic design, so you pull this off, and then you just swap the full lens with that top brow versus getting your fingerprints everywhere. So that is a nice feature on the Smith. And something I like to see on Tifoso or other brands, as it's an easy way to swap lens without getting fingerprints all over the lens while you're doing it. Now let's go over the scorecard for the Tifosu Rail sunglasses. We're gonna grade on four different categories, design, optics, comfort, and value. For design, we give it an A. You have a nice frameless shield design with a wide field of view. It looks great on the bike, although it does look a little bit off when you're not on the bike, so if you're around town, you might want to wear a more standard pair of sunglasses. Optics would give it an A. You have a nice clarity and contrast, so you can really see imperfections in the road, and you have almost no distortion with the wide lens. Comfort is also an A. It's a lightweight pair of sunglasses, so you barely feel that they're there, and they're fully adjustable with the temples and the nose pad being malleable. And value-wise, we give an A+. These are affordable. $80 pair of sunglasses that include two pairs of lenses, the hard case, the soft case, and even a pouch for the extra lenses. So pretty impressive at this price point. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclists. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.